Hi everyone, I'm just making a quick video on lesson seven for module one for anybody who um, could use a little extra support with this. So we are looking at rounding using vertical number lines. And um, here I'm going to round this number 5.274 or five and 274 thousandths to the nearest uh, place, but we're gonna do it four different ways here. Um, we'll round to the nearest 10, one, tenth, and hundredth. So for the nearest 10, and the step is the, the steps are the same every time you do this, okay? This, this number line is vertical to help us show what's great, uh, greatest in value and, and less in value. Um, but first thing we're gonna do is we are going to underline the place that we are rounding to. So for rounding to the nearest 10, we need to underline the tens place even if there's no number there. Then we wanna think, how many are in that place? So right here, if it's blank, there are zero tens. Wherever you underline, that is going to be what you put as your floor in your vertical number line, okay? Um, also, whatever number you put here, you're gonna put zero because there's zero tens. Everything after it is also a zero. So if we have zero tens, then our floor is zero. Then we're going to add one to that same place. So if we had zero tens, now we have one ten for our ceiling, so the ceiling will be ten, right? One ten is ten. Next step is to find the midpoint. So what is halfway between zero and ten? That would be five. Okay, um, then the next step is to plot our number. Okay, we're gonna plot 5.274 on our vertical number line. And we know that um, 5.274 is more than five, right? Five is five and zero thousandths, right? This is 274 thousandths. So 5.274 will come somewhere around here on our number line, 5.274. So we've plotted that. Next step is to think, is the number where we plotted, is it um, at the midpoint or above, or is it less than the midpoint? And for here, for this one, for the tens column, um, we are going greater than. So rounding 5.274 will go up to 10. So 5.274 rounded to the nearest 10 is 10. And you can circle it on the number line um, and or you can write it out. Same thing, same process for finding the nearest one. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to underline the ones number, the number or the digit that is in the ones place. And that would be this five. Whatever you underline, that is your floor at the bottom of the number line. Everything after is a zero. The ceiling is uh, basically whatever number is in the ones place plus one. So five plus one is six, six ones. So that is our ceiling. Then we need to find the midpoint. And like we talked about in class today, sometimes it helps we know that whole numbers, even though you don't always see it, they have a decimal with as many zeros as you want afterwards. So if we do 5.0 and 6.0, we can see that it, it looks like 50. And this looks like 60. And so what's the midpoint between 50 and 60? 55. And so as long as we get the decimal in the right place, we know that the midpoint between 5 and 6 will be 5.0. Five. Now what's the next step? The next step is to plot that number on our line here. We have 5.274. So we see 5.0 and 5.5. So we know that 5.2 must fall somewhere um, in between here, maybe about there. Go ahead and write it down, 5.274. Plot it. Now, if the number is on the midpoint or higher, then we're going to round up 
If it is below the midpoint, then we're going to round down. So 5.274 rounded to the nearest one is five. Rounding to the nearest tenth, same thing. Find the tenth place. That would be this number. So this will be our floor. That would be 5.2, and then anything after is a zero. So the floor is 5.2. If we increase that tenth place by one, then that gives us 5.3 as our ceiling. And just like over here, we can add um, another zero just to help us out a little bit to find the midpoint. So if we have 20, like 5.20, if we're looking at the 20 and the 30, we know that 25 comes in between. So the midpoint will be 5.25. Then we're gonna go ahead and plot the number. So we have 5.274. So 5.27 will be above 5.25, probably around here. So we can go ahead and plot it, 5.274. And because it falls above the midpoint, we are going to round up to 5.3, 5.30. Last one for the hundredths. We go ahead and underline the hundredths place. Everything leading up to that will be the floor. So we've got 5.27, and you can put a zero after if you want, right? Remember, everything after is a zero. And then you're going to increase that place by one. So then that would be 5.28 as your ceiling. And we can add a zero as well, just to help us find the midpoint. So if we're looking here, you can even just look at the last two digits here, 70 and 80. So what falls in between? 75. So your midpoint is 5.275. Now we're gonna plot our number, 5.274. It's a little bit less than the midpoint here. 5.274. Plot it on the line, it falls below the midpoint, so we are going to round down. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions or come talk to me in class. See you later.